Hi Katie Lad. I just wanted to post a video response about your um, video about being a stay-at-home mom. I'm so glad you picked that video to respond to because I am in the same boat as that girl. Um, blue eyes and skinny thighs. She's so cute. So um, it was good to hear your opinion on that and something I've been going through and I know when I get to the time of my life, I'm only 19, so I know when I do find a boyfriend and end up getting married and having kids that I'll have my mom to babysit the kids and it just, I've babysat since I was in middle school age and all these parents that they have to go to work or they have this to do or that to do and they have someone babysit their kids and they have it like Sometimes a lot of them, they'll, they're barely with their kids. And it's like, I'm the one experiencing all these moments that their kids just crack me up. And it's like, you're missing out on this. And I wish they were here, they were there to see their kids and how funny they are and their personalities forming. So definitely something that I don't think I would want to do if my, if I was financially stable and had the opportunity to stay home with my kids and live those moments with them and be able to see them develop. I just hope that I get the opportunity. Um, I am going to school, so I am kind of getting a backup plan, but my mom was stayed home with me most of the time, I think until I was in middle school and had a lot of like school and activities and she would be at work, so it was kind of a switch off there. Um, and she had me when she was older. She was 37 or 38. And um, she'd had my sister when she was 30. So we were really far apart. Um, but she stayed at home till I was in middle school. So she was there for me. And when my sister was growing up, she had other kids that would come over. So she would babysit those. So they had a little bit of income there. So I would be so blessed if that was um, my situation when it came to it and I was able to have kids so I'm planning on that well I don't want to say I'm planning on it but I really hope that I get to experience that and have my kids and get to see them every day and just hang out with them and um, see them grow up and if not for if anything happens I'm trying to make my backup plan with school, but it's so hard to be motivated at school when you're like, I just want to be a stay-at-home mom. I don't want to have to work. But I love kids, so if maybe I could have a daycare. I don't know. <laughs> but this video was great, and I loved everything you shared about it, and I'm so glad you picked it. It was definitely, definitely something that I've been thinking about lately, so the fact that you made a video about it now is super funny. Um really good timing so yeah i love you thanks so much for posting your videos all the time i absolutely love every single one of them and your children are adorable i watch you guys every day so thank you so much for doing what you do it's like sometimes the highlight of my day <laughs> being able to come home and just relax and watch you guys hopefully i will see you at vidcon this summer hopefully um if not, I'd be really bummed. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, happy leap day! Guys, I'm so excited right now. I was just texting my old roommate, Lauren, and she, um, I forget what got us started talking about it, but, um, oh, like babysitting stuff. Um, I, like, turned down 15 jobs yesterday on care.com in Center City, and then, um, we were talking about how um, we both want to be stay-at-home moms, and she, um, wants to take a semester off of school, and I'm, like, so over school, like, I can't even, like, handle it. <laughs> Maybe just because of anatomy, but I'm just really unmotivated, um, because I don't really know exactly what I want to do, um, all I want to do right now is, like, babysit. <laughs> so, we were thinking that we might move to LA, or, like, Venice Beach, because we both, that's, like, an area we both really want to move to. And we're going to start a daycare. We're going to start a daycare. Yep, we're going to do it. So she has, like, a lot of business background. She's a finance major. And so that would work. 
And I have some of that experience from working with my mom in her office. I think just a little bit, not much. And then I have like the nursing background so I can take care of them when they're sick and stuff. And we both have been babysitting for like forever. I am so excited right now. So we're gonna move to LA and start a daycare. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It'll be in like a two bedroom apartment and we'll share one bedroom and then have the daycare in the other bedroom. <laughs> I don't know exactly how it would work. I have to look at rent and stuff, but uh, yeah, this guy's like waving to me in this truck. I am so freaking excited. So that's what we're gonna do. And um, if it worked out, if I was able to move to LA like in fall or summer or something, I would be so excited. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that's my current motivation to <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So I can't wait to get home and try and figure that stuff out. Right now I'm gonna go get some food and like a snack or something and then I have my anatomy lab practical. So I hope I do well. I've been studying in my car and I studied a lot last night. So um, I hope I do okay. I never really know what to expect. So um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> Here I go.